Welcome into this week's edition of the Climate Friday newsletter. Meteorologist John Birchfield here another week with heavy rain and thunderstorms. And we've talked about this in past editions, but the link between climate change and heavy torrential rain, that is something we're going to explore in more depth and also recap some of the storms that struck Northwest Ohio and Southeastern Michigan this week and just how much rain did they produce and also any more rain on the horizon? We'll answer those questions and more. You can always find the latest Climate Friday each and every week on WTOL.com, WTOL 11 plus and on YouTube. So let's break down the science and get into our graphics, exploring the link between climate change and those heavy torrential downpours that we often see with thunderstorms. And we saw very closely this week with several rounds of rain. Let's break down some of the data as we look towards some of the impacts of the storms that we saw this week. Widespread rainfall totals in the ballpark of three four even up to five inches of rain. Overall, the heaviest rain fell both in the Toledo Metro and Lucas County and also to the north and west of the city. Locations like Hillsdale County saw some torrential rain up to five inches in magnitude and that did cause unfortunately some flash flooding issues and some high water levels, especially in those flood prone areas. Additionally, power outages across northwest Ohio and southeastern Michigan. That was mainly a result in a product of those strong straight line wind us. We saw some widespread 50 to 60 mile per hour winds and that caused a number of power outages in the ballpark of 40 to even 50,000 folks without power as a result of those winds. We're going to focus more on the heavy rain out of these storms and then explore the link due to climate change. And we saw two rounds of rain on Wednesday. The first one came through during the mid afternoon on the leading edge of this system and the second one came through on the backside of that system later on in the evening, continuing through the first half of the overnight. And in spite of the severe weather, it was really the heavy rain that was the most widespread impact as a result of those two rounds of rainfall. A swath of storm reports across the northern tier of Ohio and southern tier of Michigan and all those raindrop icons show you flood reports and heavy rainfall reports. The rainfall was situated right along that state line and Lake Erie shoreline from Cleveland over towards Toledo and Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. Those are the areas that got hit hardest by heavy rain. I've circled the region where those storms barreled on through. And doesn't this seem to be a theme of this summer? Just those recurring heavy downpours that follow the same trajectory and the same path. Look at this heavy rainfall from Toledo up towards Monroe, back towards Lenaway and Hillsdale County was an epicenter of heavy rain on Wednesday. The northern tier of Lucas County saw very heavy rain from Oregon and East Toledo up towards Assumption, Berkey and Metamora. Some of those areas saw two to three inches of rainfall. Here's a few radar indications on the east side of town, three even four inches of rain out towards the airport. Some spots saw two to three inches inches of rainfall. What about northwest of Toledo? Look up near Hillsdale County. That bright magenta color outlined by red. That is where the heaviest rain out of this system fell. We saw rainfall totals of three to four inches as a result of those soaking torrential downpours. What about the Toledo Metro? The official weather observation at Toledo Express Airport that comes in at 2.23 inches of rainfall, which is quite a bit of rain as we look towards several inches of rain that fell in just that single day. Monthly rainfall stands well above average 4.62 inches. Isn't it wild that this one storm brought up over half the rain that we've seen during the entirety of the month? We are nearly two inches above average for the month of July as we round the corner into August. Rainfall totals many in the ballpark of two to three inches. I've got a few reports here including Toledo, Dundee and Adrian. Some of those southeastern Michigan towns and cities saw the heaviest, most inundating rain out of this. So we're going to talk about the link between climate change in just a sec. But what about the weather pattern that facilitated this rain? Well, once again, just like the last downpours, we have a high pressure system off to the southwest of us, and that has produced exceptionally hot weather with triple digit heat in parts of the lower plains and southwest. Now, an active storm track across the lower Great Lakes is pivoting on the outside of this system, and that has led to a number of weather disturbances that have followed that jet stream. That that has brought numerous storm systems right across the lower Great Lakes and that green shaded region that I've drawn from Michigan and Ohio back towards Indiana and Illinois. 
that shows you where storms have been recurring. And oftentimes you may have noticed we get one after another that follow almost an identical trajectory. And that is another trend that we saw as we headed towards Wednesday with one after another several rounds of rain. So of course, weather and climate are intricately linked and we do see some impacts of the jet stream and day to day variation. But what about climate change as a whole? Well, overall, we are seeing warmer temperatures and that relationship between temperatures and precipitation is very closely studied due to the warmer temperatures that we have observed. More evaporation is occurring. That evaporation occurs from the soil. It occurs from the lakes, from the bodies of water. Our oceans are seeing more evaporation as well due to the increase in the heat. Now that provides fuel for heavy rain. If you think about it, when there's more water and moisture in the atmosphere, that means there's more to wring out like a washcloth. When Mother Nature dumps those heavy downpours, they come down a lot harder. With more downpours, we are seeing more what we call training or slow moving thunderstorms. Those are the type of storms that really seem to be moving at a snail's pace and they just produce a swath or a trail of very heavy rainfall. That is similar to what we saw this week and Wednesday over Hillsdale and Lucas counties. Also heavy rain across much of northern Ohio with several rounds of rain that followed a similar trajectory. Again, that mechanism that causes climate change to exacerbate rainfall has to do with an increase in temperature. This graph that you see here shows the relationship between rising temperatures and increase in moisture and evaporation. Now that relationship is more than just linear. It's actually exponential. So as the temperature goes up, the amount of evaporation also goes up but it goes up very quickly as temperature rises. With more evaporation comes more precipitation, and that means heavier downpours, and that impacts you, that impacts local farmers, and sadly, there's even a financial impact tied to climate change as there is more basement flooding, more property damage and property flooding as a result of those downpours. When it rains, it pours. This graph here shows you two inch or more rainfall days, funny. That's what we saw this week, right? 2.23 inches of rainfall. Those really heavy rainfall days over two inches. They are getting more commonplace as the decades go on. On this side of the graph, we've got the 21st century and back there you've got the mid 20th century around 1950 and overall, even with that year to year, year, to year variation, there's an undeniable uptick in those heaviest two inch rainfall amounts again due to warmer temperatures, seeing more moisture, more evaporation and as a result, more heavy downpours in the mix. So what do climate scientists and experts expect as we go forward into the future? Well, by the end of the century, the Midwest region is expected to see a 40% increase in rainfall, especially noticeable in those heaviest downpour days. We're going to continue to see that uptick in precipitation, and that could have some meaningful impacts on area farmers and gardeners, and also on just how we plan and organize our lives with more frequent and heavy rainfall. Even though it looks like we'll finally snap the heavy rain pattern and usher in some more dry weather. You can always trust the WTOL 11 weather team to keep you updated. And for the latest Climate Friday, head to WTOL.com slash email. We've got new additions each and every Friday. And follow along on social media for the latest. We will see you next Friday.